So let's pretend we have a spectator right here, even though we don't. What I would do is hand them five cards, and I would take five cards. So first, I would take one, two, three, four, five cards like this, and the spectator would get one, two, three, four, five cards like that. After we done that, I would explain to the spectator that this is going to be a do, you do as I do type effect. So whatever I do, you have to follow. So we would pick up my half, and I would say, you're going to take this top card, turn it face down, and put it on the bottom. Take this next card, put it face up on the bottom. Then take this last card and put it face down on the bottom. So the spectator is going to follow. So this top card goes face down, this card goes face up, and this card goes face down. Now, if the spectator followed perfect, you'll see that th these actually match up. So we have face down, face up, face down, and then face up. So now we would raise the stake some. So what we would do is now take this top card, put it face down on the bottom, take this card, turn it face down on top, and then turn the whole half over. So the spectator would follow. So this card goes face down on the bottom. This card goes face down on top like that and gets turned over. Now if the spectator followed, you'll see I have all face up cards. So let's see if the spectator followed correctly. You'll see they have a face down card. So they did not follow correctly. That is the trick. If you would like to learn how it's done, be sure to stick around for the tutorial. Okay, so this is a very nice beginner card trick I actually learned from the Card Mechanic YouTube channel. It's called You Can't Do As I Do. So it, all it revolves around is this one card right here. It's actually a double facer. Now, I actually didn't have a double facer. So what I did was I took some double stick tape, took two cards. Maybe you can see that. I put a strip of tape on. Maybe you can see that. Might be hard to. But that's what I did. And then you can take the other card, put it face up like that. Apply some pressure, and now you have your own double face card. So how this is going to start is simple. You're going to have 10 cards on the bottom. Now it doesn't matter what these 10 cards are, but you want your gimmick here to be second from the bottom. So... This is the top of the deck, and this is the bottom, so it's going to be just like that. So now, you're going to start off by explaining the effect. So it's going to be a you do as I do type thing, so whatever I do, you have to do along. So you're going to take off five cards. And they're going to be for you because of your gimmick here. And then the spectator's going to get five cards. Now, normally, the spectator shouldn't have a problem with what cards they get because it's from the bottom to face down deck and they see they're all different. But if they do, they can pick out whatever five cards they want. Just make sure they don't try to take your gimmick as one of the cards. So once you have your two piles, you're all set. So you explain to the spectator, you're going to try to follow along with what I do. So this top card is going to go face down on the bottom. This next card will go face up on the bottom. And this card will go face down on the bottom. And the spectator is going to follow along. So this card will go face down, face up and face down. 
So now if everything worked out right, once you spread out your pile, you'll see that there should be two cards face down, and the spectator should have it like that. So that's good. Now you say, okay, we're going to raise the stakes some. So what we're going to do is take this pile, turn this card face down on the bottom, turn this card face down on top, and turn the whole half over. And that basically does it. So down, down, and then over like that. So when you spread, because of that gimmick, all of them will be face up. And then when they spread, the only one will be face down. So they thought they did it correctly, when actually they did, but because of that gimmick, didn't work out. So that is the trick. A very nice beginner card trick. If you're new here, don't forget to like, comment, and how about you give me a subscription and turn on that bell while you're at it. I'm going to try to be uploading some more videos. So I hope you liked it. Let me know down in the comments anything you thought about it and what else you would like to see on this channel. And that will do it from me. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.